This is the Tobin One USB-C docking station and probably the best docking station I have used for the MacBook Pro and here is why. Let's start with why this docking station stands out for me the most. You can run three monitors in 4K at the same time by using one dual USB-C host cable and a 100 watt power cable. You can add then a NAS system via the Ethernet cable, multiple hard drives, a camera recording card and a podcast microphone and it runs smoothly. No more cable chaos thanks to the two port cable or overheating because of the cooling stand design which is pretty amazing. Unboxing and first impression. So what's all in the box? This box itself is really well designed and high quality. Inside you have the docking station with a sleek aluminum design with flip out rubberizers which weighs just one kilogram. You get a 100 watt GAN3 brick for powering the dock and charging your MacBook at the same time. One dual USB-C host cable to extend your ports and a soft carry-on bag and a manual. The build quality is super high level. Those risers keeps your Mac stable and cool and fixes all my T-Rex posture. The only thing is you get the power plug with an adapter based on what you order, US, Euro, UK or Australian plug. But it's really tight and holds it really well. Okay, let's take a port tour first. The docking station has on the left side a Kingston lock, two high-speed USB-C, 10 gigabytes per second ports. On the right side you have an SD and micro SD slot, one 3.5 millimeter audio plug and a power button to turn the dock on or off. In the back it is packed with multiple ports starting with an Ethernet 2.5 gigabits per second port for internet or your NAS system. Then you have one display port, two HDMI ports for a 4K 60Hz output, then two USB 3.0 ports with 5 gigabytes per second in blue, one USB-A port with 10 gigabytes per second in orange, one power delivery port for the 100 watts power plug which gives you 85 watts power output and then the two host USB-C ports for the connection to your Mac. Good Goodbye to the dongle octopus and hello to the single cable sanity. Let's test out the performance. I have added two 4K monitors, my NAS, an SD and a micro SD card, two hard drives, one camera card, a podcast microphone and a headphone. Pretty maxed out, so let's see how it can handle everything. Let's start with the two monitors in 4K. I have here two 4K OLED monitors plugged in and also tested it with a two stacked monitor from Uperfect, which works perfect and smooth. Coming to the hard drive speed test of the SSD, normal speed on my MacBook is around 850 megabytes per second and with the docking station it's around the same. So no down drop in speed at all. So just a little bit less than on the MacBook itself. The other SSD is plugged in in the USB-A 10 gigabytes per second and the speed is around the same. When I record my coaching calls or YouTube videos with the camera and the camera link adapter plus the microphone and record all on my SSD at the same time, the docking station just performed really well. Editing videos with the 4K monitors and doing color grading is no problem at all. Both at 60 Hz, no tears, no frame drops, just perfect. The 2.5 gigabits Ethernet is around 200 megabits per second compared to the adapter on the MacBook itself, which is also 200 megabits per second. So works the same and I had no disconnection when using it with all the devices plugged in. This is really good because I had other devices where always dropping out and the monitor gets black and that's what you don't want if you work on your videos. The power delivery is tested with iStat menu and AL Dental app and it shows that the MacBook gets charged charged with 70 watts, 80 watts. So you don't need to plug in your Mac charger, but to be honest, I recommend using the MacSafe charger because then it has more power and the docking station uses all the power for the station itself and not for charging your Mac. After a while using, the docking station gets quite hot, but as it has space between the Mac and the station itself, the airflow gaps cools it really well down and the Mac gets not really much affected. A little compatibility warning. I use the docking station on my MacBook Pro M3 max 16 inch and there were no issues at all. If you have the M1, M2, M3 and the base model then you only can use one external monitor so check your chip before you click buy real world creator workflow. As a production company and content creator, it could handle very well with the whole workflow from copying files from the camera into Lightroom or heavy video editing, there was no issue at all. The speed was the same than with the MacBook itself and for video editing there was no problem, frame drops or lower drive speed or that the monitor went black and this even when I was working on it for hours. Okay, let's come to the pro and cons. So the pro first, dual 4K 60Hz on supported Mac 
X or even three monitors in the same time. Then the powerful Ethernet connection with 2.5 gigabits per second, which is super good speed for your NAS or even use it for your internet. It's really good to have the three 10 gigabytes per second ports as well having two five gigabytes per second ports for a stable connection with your hard drive and having also this powerful speed, especially when you edit videos in four or 6K. Then the 100 watts power adapter with 85 watts pass-through power was running fine with no issues at all. The tilt stand design which cools down the Mac is really good and good for your T-Rex posture, trust me. If you work long time, it can be so painful. It's also super transportable and very compact. And the most important, no cable chaos around your Mac, everything is hidden behind. Let's come to the cons. Then if you have a basic M1 chip, you're limited to just using one screen, but that depends on what machine you have. And that's basically it. It's a super powerful docking station for your Mac and the price is around $180 currently on sale. The Tobin 1 USB-C docking station is in my eyes perfect and worth the investment. I have also a link down below in the description so you can check it out and you can order from the link so I get a little commission. And I just want to mention also this is not a sponsored post. I just got this for testing and this review is my honest review and I literally was testing it for a week now and I can say like this is really worth the money and yeah it's very powerful and I love the design. Okay now is your time smash the like button write a comment what do you think about this docking station and if you have any other questions please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and until then see you in the next video peace.